What is going on everyone, my name is Dakota Moore and welcome back to episode 9 of Intro to Web Development. In this episode, we are going to learn the basics of and how to create tables. Now tables are very useful for a website and they can be used for so many things, but for today we are just going to learn the basics. Now I have a table right here on the screen, and remember a table has rows and columns. So age and name are in the same row, 50 and Johnny are in the same row, etc. And a column would be, for instance, this age column right here, and the name column. And this is what we are going to be making today, this kind of table right here. Now I have a blank HTML document, it already has the base code for a website. And in between the opening and closing body tags is where we are going to begin our table. Now to begin a table in HTML, it has to be in between an opening and closing table tag. So inside of here is going to be our table. Now in HTML, tables are first organized by rows and then columns. So within these two table tags, we want to say, all right, we want a new row. For instance, we want to create this age and name row that contains age and name. So we are going to open up a TR tag and close it inside of the table tag. TR stands for table row. So because this is the first set of TR tags that we have inside of our table, that will be the first row in the table. Now we have a row, but we actually need to put data into that row and create columns. Now you'd think that a column would be something like TC in HTML, but instead columns are referred to as table data or TD tags, like so. So we have an opening and a closing TD tag, and this is where your data or a new column entry would go. For here, I'll put age, and then I'm just gonna go down here one more line and I'll open up a new set of TV tags and I'll put name for the second column. So let me explain here. First of all, we have to specify our table by the table tag. Then we want to create a new row. So we create the TR tag or table row. Inside of the opening and closing TR tags, so inside of our first row, we want to create two columns. One column is going to have the word age in it and the next column is going to have the word name in it. Now if we go on into our website here and we refresh, you'll see that well, we actually get a table, but it looks a bit silly. Now, there is no border around tables by default because tables don't necessarily need them. They can be used to organize things on your website in all sorts of ways. But for our purposes, I kind of want to see a border around age and name. That way I know when a row and a column is starting. So to do that, back in our HTML document here, in table, we are going to add kind of a new attribute. And it's going to be called a border, and we're going to set border equal to, and then instead of quotes, one. This will give us a kind of a one pixel border. So if we refresh, we'll see that we have one row, of course, so this row right here, but two columns. Age is in one column and name is in the other column. Now let's create a few more rows and actually add some data to them. Now to add a row, we simply create a new set of TR tags inside of our table. So below our first set of TR tags, we are going to create a new table row, opening and closing TR tags. So now we are working on row number two of our table. And it's the same thing to add some columns. We're going to create a TD. For instance, this would be in the age column, so I'll give this guy an age of 25, like so. And then we'll have to give him a name, so a new uh, column or a new table data set tags. And his name will be Billy, like so. Now if we go ahead and refresh our page, we should get a new row because we're in a new set of TR tags, and we get age as 25 because that's what we set for our first column, and the name of Billy because that is what we set for the second column. Now it's very important to note, when you're creating an HTML table, it is very important that every single table row or TR tag has the same number of table data tags in it. So this table row specifies two columns, two sets of TD tags. That means the next row must have two TD tags and only two. Now there are different things that we can do to kind of change that functionality and not have them have to be the same, but we'll get into those in a separate tutorial. Those are called row span and column span. For now, just make sure that the amount of TD tags inside of one table row is equivalent to the other. Now I'm gonna copy this table row down and I'm just gonna create a new table row down here and I'll put in a new person. This person will be 29 years old and her name will be uh, Juliet, like so. So if we name this, we should get now a third row with different column data, 29 and Juliet. So that is the basics of how to create a table. Now you'll notice that up here we have age and name, but I kind of want them to be bolder. I want them to really stand out because they are table headers. They, they're kind of important. Now there is a very simple way to do that. Instead of using TD tags or table data tags, we can use TH tags. TH stands for a table header. So 
Table headers basically just makes uh, the content in between them or in that column a bit bolder. Now a th is essentially the equivalent of a td tag, so you have to have the same number of th tags as td tags in every row. Just it's going to make the content within them a bit bolder. So if we refresh our page, as you can see age and name are a bit bolder and now they stand out more because they are a table header. So that is the basics of how to create a table. I want you guys to go out, create a table with more than two columns, maybe create a, a table with four columns and many more rows. Have some fun with it, maybe experiment with the borders, but for now that is it. That is very simple how to create a table. Thanks for watching everyone and I'll see you guys in the next tutorial.